have a very special guest with us today. His name is Angelo Ellerby, and he is a PR powerhouse with nearly 50 years of experience working with some of the biggest names in the music industry, including Dionne Warwick, DMX, Mary J. Blige, just to name a few. And he's here today to promote his new book, The Sense of Success. Welcome, Angelo. Welcome, Thank you. Angela. Thank you so both happy. so very, very much. Thanks for joining us again the it's, second time. It's good to have this good energies and good mm -hmm. synergies around me and to be in your presence once again. Thank and you. to be in front of your viewing audience to talk about what's close and what's very dear to me, which well, is my new book. We love you here at Thank you. Phone One. So you guys are in for a treat. So listen up. Come in close. <laughs> well, this book that I've written is very personal. Mm-hmm. Um, people ask me why did I write another book because I put the need of it. I'm seeing what's happening in society as I sit and I watch television as I'm a part of to everyday society. I see the dilemmas. I see that people are not loving one another. People mm. are not sharing one another. We're not helping one another. Um, in this crucial time, and I really think that we're in crucial times in America. I think that when we see our president encaging young children and separating them right. from mothers and fathers when you see the mental uh, illness is at a all-time high right. when you see people being depressed and you see drug addicts and you see crackheads all these things say to me that they all deserve to have a second chance in life mm -hmm. and we don't have the rights to shut it down we have the we, everybody deserves to have that second chance. And I, in the book, talk about the importance of that second chance. Mm -hmm. I always say, yes, I've, fa I've fallen a million times. You have to understand when you fall and why you fell. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you understand how you're going to get back up. Right, exactly. And so this book really goes into the who, the what's, the when's, the where's, the why's. Mm -hmm. of your existence. Oh, but why, yeah. why the why the sense though? Because you're, you're just, you're talking about senses. So you say there's, for example, you said you can, goals you can see, strength you can feel, newness you can smell. You're talking about all your senses. What is the sense of success though? What does yeah, that what mean? That? It's right in here. It's what God gave us. He gave us the sense of love and the sense of success. Is it like a tapping in? I think, I think that it is a inner ability that we sometimes lose because we have not learned the importance of falling romantically in love with who we are. Romantically. I, romantically. romantically. You can't just fall in love. You have to be romantically in love with you. Mm -hmm. You have to care about everything that God has given you, the creation right. of it all, which is life. Right. And then when you look internally and you understand the importance of this gift that he's given to you, you want to be able to share it. But before you share it, you have to be knowledgeable of what it is yes. and where it's yes. at. And right. I think it's in our heart. It's in the soul. The song goes, uh, a secondhand emotion. Love can never be a secondhand emotion. Mm -hmm. no. Love is the first emotion that we get right. from a from a mother's birth of her child. But that was from hurt anyway. Well, we well, you know, but but you know, hurt. When we talk about hurt, we talk about sorrow. We talk about happiness, and we talk about completeness. Right. And I think it all revolves around the key word, which mm -hmm. is love. Right. Right. And I also right. think that it has a lot to do with the sense that we have inside. Mm -hmm. We have a sense, every, in, every like individual, sixth sense? I think it's the sixth sense, Okay, like an and it could be the first intuition. scent, right. the first scent of understanding what love is about. Right, mm. right. Think so about you, it. Yeah. Think about if you didn't love you, you mm -hmm. wouldn't care about getting up in the morning, uh, you wouldn't care about putting on the makeup, getting the hair done, getting the right clothes, making sure the body is right, making right. sure you're treating people right, you're being hospitable, you're being mannerable, you're being caring, you're being loving. These are all the things that that scent of success enables you to do and be. When you take the time, I take time every morning, 45 so, minutes every so morning. So you're saying scent. Scent? How it smells. And scent. And scent. Yeah, it's a play it's, on words. It's a okay. scent of success yeah. too. Okay. okay. So yeah, we did the candle line to go with the book and the whole of the bit because it's all of what I do. Right. What I do in the morning is that I get up and I have conversation mm -hmm. with my man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't have prayer. I have conversation. Like a meditation? I, it's, oh. it's, 
it's a conversation. I talk to God every morning for 45 minutes. Right. Mm-hmm. I go through my apartment and I light my candles wow. because I believe that there's demons that seek in at nighttime and things that are toxic. I don't want it in my atmosphere. Wow. So I sit and I have conversation. I light the candle for 45 minutes mm-hmm. and we just talk. Wow. And we just talk. And then I'm able to get up. I'm energized. I'm motivated. I feel protected. Mm-hmm. I, be- I believe that he has protected me for so many years. Right. I can go and do what I need to do. So you're saying That's like this amazing. this candle is not just a candle. It's a way for you to connect and people to connect with the Absolutely. creator as well. Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. I, I, I'm really, as I get older in life and start to have an appreciation for life, because it really is a gift. Right. It's, right. Not, it, 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 it's not just a given, it's a gift and of giving. And how do you appreciate it? And how you appreciate it. a gift. How do you, how do you appreciate life? it? Right. You appreciate a gift by love. Mm-hmm. My mom gave me this ring, and I love this ring. Wow. Because she, it was a gift of her appreciation. It was her love. Right. This is one of the ways she showed me how much she loved me. Aww. And here's how much I love my readers, my followers. Mm-hmm. Is a gift. So, right. so why the black candle? Why? What is, this, is there a reason for it? Well, you know, my apartment, everything that I own and possess is all white. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so when you come into my apartment, everything is white. Mm-hmm. Initially, we wanted to do a white base of a candle. But I wanted to really salute those things that were black. And we can see, yeah. we can see clothes. You us, better work. Yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> you I better wanted, work. I wanted to. It's just flipping it yeah. on its head, right? Because, you know, when you think black, you always think negative. Right, right. And this is what positive. If, name me two, name me five things that are black that is positive. Outside of, you, <laughs> outside of you. Outside of you. I'm positive sometimes because I have a black side. Um. Right, right, because right. little white lies, yeah. Yeah. snow, mm-hmm. white, lily mm-hmm. white, mm-hmm. like, yeah. right, right. So this possesses the color of black. Wakanda right. forever. Yeah. <laughs> but it is very mm-hmm. serious that that color must be exemplified. Mm-hmm. It's a color that I'm proud of. Right. It's the color that I am. And it's true. And it's very true. Because a black person, like growing up, you so black with your black this. Yeah. 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 It's negative. It's so negative. negative. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. We need to play and turn it around. And we need to start to begin to love ourselves and our colors and stop trying to change things around. Everything 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 comes comes from black. black. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We have to have an appreciation for our blackness. Right. I agree. And particularly agree. in this day and time, our culture, we come from the richest soil. We come from the motherland. Mm-hmm. We don't need to be shaming the motherland. We need to be proud of where we come from. Right. And so this is a this is a beginning. This is one of my contributions to society to simply say, let's just become one. Mm-hmm. Let's have an appreciation for who we are. I remember the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said many, many years ago, as a culture of people, we needed to have our own. Right. Yes. But right. we looked at this man like he had three heads. We thought this man was racist. He thought, no, he was understanding his people mm-hmm. and he was understanding his culture and the value in which we brought. Right. But if you don't see the value, then... Right. Well, you don't see the value because we're conditioned not to see that it. that color black was just not right. right. And that the unification Blame, of our community... Dirty. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the unification right. of our culture should not exist. Mm-hmm. But it does exist. And everyone plays a significant role in our existence. And it's getting right. stronger. It's getting stronger. And we all need that collectively. Yeah, because we are one. We are one. Hold that thought okay. because it seems like you're going to go into something really deep. And we will be right back with the second half of our interview with Angelo Ellerby. Life, Life, Life. Well, that was a really great interview, right? Yeah, like, I, I really like the way he talks about how, you know, when you fall down and you fall down, you have to get back up. And you look and cute in that interview, too. Oh, I you. like that outfit. Girl, you always look cute. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, I really like that part. And he says that's really what the book is about. Like, you get the book so you can learn. Then when you fall down, don't stay down. Right. Figure out why you fell down 
and pick yourself back up. And that's what the book does. Um, it is really feel good. Yes. It is really feel good. It, oh my God. It, it is. It but is. The whole thing, the whole packaging of it, like the success and the candle right. and, and why and, and like uh, black empowerment. It was just like all of it rolled up. It feels like Angelo was just like meshing his yes. whole yeah, aura like, yes. into, into, into his project. Definitely, now. definitely. I mean, just even the reason why he made the base of the candle black, just mm -hmm. talking about how the importance of, you know, blackness and, and doing something positive with it and having a positive outlook on it. Because, you yes, know, he, yes. he stumped me. He was like, think about something that's, that's positive and black. And I was like, Kuk -kuk. I was like, Onika, me, <laughs> I'm Ruth. not that positive. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, you know, literally everything is like, you know, white as snow, you know, white purity, little, all right. those things. Little white lie. Yeah, right. exactly. It's right. not really, you know, embracing blackness that way. And so I really like that he said, you, you know, this is rethink. about that. Rethink. Yeah. Rethink. Rethink that. that. Means. Rethink yeah. that. And sense of success. I'm like, sense of success is love. It's self-love. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that is radical. Mm -hmm. Like, we walk around and we do not love ourselves. We really don't. Well, we don't know what that means. People say that all the time, right? People right. say, oh, love yourself. But there's not, there, there are parts of you that mm -hmm. that you really can't love. You know what I mean? You just kind of like. you don't know how to love. Right, you tolerate it because society has said that those things are bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? And, and when those things show up in your in your energy or you know in your daily life and it's coming from you you feel like I, then i'm bad right. and actually you have to think about maybe society is wrong and these are natural instincts right <laughs> right and then and then right. you're blocking your blessing too because it was like you know sense of success your sense of success now if you are not if you're there are parts of you that you are not embracing and you're not loving how can you succeed right like being domineering and all that stuff like that's just a part <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you guys check out part two. Welcome back to What's the 4 in 1 where we're talking with Angelo Ellerbeet. He is the PR powerhouse and he was just talking to us about hope and the importance of hope in this environment that we're in right now. You know, God bless the child that has his own mm -hmm. and we must have our own we must become our own entrepreneurs we must begin to manufacture and create and we must do all those things because people who don't necessarily look like you and I that's what they do right. and we become their consumer all mm -hmm. the time right, right. When you but when the honorable company? Elijah Muhammad said to us that we must have our own and we can begin with simple things like our own cleaners Mm -hmm. Our own clothing lines. Mm -hmm. We looked at our it and we... Our own candle lines. Our own candle books. lines, our own wh whatever. Right. Right. It's ours. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to be... And we have... But it's hard to keep that in perspective, though, when you, like you said, you're dealing in a political system which is, you know, built on dividing people and pulling people apart. How do you keep yourself... How does the grounded Jews, how does the Jews keep themselves they grounded? Keep, they keep on focusing mm -hmm. on they it. Keep it. They keep focusing on what their beliefs are. Mm -hmm. And we've been in this, We've this climate is no different than any other climate that we've been in as a people. I mean, true, true. That, true. like, like let, come on, we've gone through a lot. Like when, when, when people like talk about Donald Trump, like, you know, he is like, you know, the devil. He's existed forever in the day. Right? I'm just like, yeah. he's just saying the stuff. Like, why are you mad? Like, yeah. tell me what you want to exactly. say, sir. Don't say I don't have a job. Don't say nobody's hiring here. There's no more room <laughs> at the end. Tell me, you know what I'm trying to you, say? You, they used to tell me that money was the root of all evil. It's not and I say, mm. no, 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 no. Jealousy <laughs> is the root <laughs> of all evil. Right. And particularly in our oh, culture, mm -hmm. or I should say in any culture, because it stops growth. It mm -hmm. is, but it is right. ingrained. It, it is, is ingrained. ingrained because I can see a, a bunch of white guys in the same place being my, you know, my. But when I see like a black woman, there's a thing I have to change my mind on it. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because we're conditioned to have one. Yeah. But, but yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. to have one. I, I just I can be honest about that. Like, I, I think it's really important that we just begin to connect mm -hmm. and stop disconnecting. Mm 
Right. And stop hating on one another mm -hmm. and start loving one another yes. and helping one another. The book talks about that incarcerated gentleman or female. Mm -hmm. They're in jail. They need to understand why they're in jail, why they're there, learn. Mm -hmm. It's free education. Because when you come out, you're going to have to go through. And simulate back into society. Right. And, that's and how do you do that? The only thing that people can't take from you is education. Right. Amen. Very true. And so you have to rightly instill that so that you can go out and prepare yourself mm -hmm. for a new beginning. Right. It's the same thing when you talk about a recording artist that is just so evil and so upset because he or she didn't make it in their time. Okay, so you're 50 years old. You still can sing? Dust yourself off. <laughs> right. Get back in the race all over right. again. It's the same energy yeah. of you sitting up becoming accusatory mm -hmm. to why you didn't make it. You can still make it. And what's right. it? And yeah, and yeah. Then, and, 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 and that's, it, I'm glad you make that point. What is a it? Because it's always a something outside of who we. I yeah. always say, people say, oh, you're so successful. And I say, look at them. And I say, oh, am I? Because I still <laughs> don't know what success is. Right. Is right. success working. happiness? It's, it's, it's a work in, pro work in progress. Right. Right. Work in progress. Still going. And so I have to continuously... Recreate yourself. Recreate. I have to, I have to do different... Angela, you're doing candles and you're writing books? I'm doing things that I always wanted to do, but it was the timing of it all. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And yeah. it's the preparation of it all. Mm -hmm. Right. It's your team. It's all the things that's going to make it a winning result or give it a winning result. They say right. it's, it's really, it's way easier to obtain than it is to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it. <laughs> People, yeah. you know, it's yeah. always, I, I've had more employees than the Empire State Building have had steps. <laughs> <laughs> and they one. always want to immunate, mm -hmm. copy. Uh -huh. and, and it's not with sounding braggatious. Mm -hmm. I'm the original. Right. <laughs> I'm the yes. original. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, if you're imit, then you're a copy. Right. Right. Nobody wants a copy. I want yourself. the original. Be, Be you yourself. Just... Go do you. Take the wisdom and run with it. Right. Exactly. I'm willing to share it with you. You don't have to stab me in my back. And pay right. homage. Exactly. And, 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 yeah, and give yeah, homage yeah. to those. <laughs> and pay and give homage. homage to those who... It, who came before yeah, you. They exactly. have to figure on it that out. Shoulder. Because they exactly. have to figure it out. There you go. When well, yeah. you get to look and say, oh, that, yes. oh that's why he turned left. Exactly. Oh, yeah. He had to right. pull exactly. out and, and exactly. turn you the face. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, so when we start to want to tear down, we have to understand why are you why are you tearing it down? You need to help to rebuild it. Exactly, yeah. yeah how exactly. to rebuild our communities. Mm -hmm. How to rebuild that mind. So many young people today, and particularly brothers, are going through mental health issues. Oh yes. yes. And they oh will not talk about it. Right. They will not get help for it. And they right. won't go get any help, but yet they'll go so and damage your life or damage yeah, your exactly. life. Or, or exactly. better yet, damage their own lives. Right. Mm -hmm. When we can sit back and have conversation, when we can advise you, we can give you proper professional guidance that's going to help but you. But they feel like asking for help makes them less of a man, and that's the problem. But no, you so know what's a little worse, probably? Women that know that they're dealing with men yes. with mental health issues, and they can totally like diagnose it. Oh, he's bipolar yeah. mm -hmm. with a slight case of, huh? Yeah. But this is the kid's father, and you dealing with this. And you but I mean, again, like, how do you help? How do you make that person get help if they're not willing? To well, then I tell you what. But you can't have them in your life. But you don't need yeah. to be in my life. Right. You need right. to be in that counselor's life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be here with my children. Love, you don't yeah. need to put us in harm. Right. You got right. a you problem. Need to separate and if you love me like you say you love me, you'll go get help. Right. Yeah, but that's back to self love. And it, it goes yeah. back to self love. Yeah. Right. I know someone that I that's very dear to me. I've known them since they were nineteen years old. They're thirty seven years old now, and all of a sudden you're an addict. Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. can't be around me. Right. right. Mm -hmm. You're toxic. Right. Love right. you dearly, but I gotta love you from afar. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I'm gonna tell you, you need to do is a, go and get help. Mm -hmm. B. I'm going to hold your hand until you get there. Mm -hmm. When you arrive, I'm going to let your hand go. And now it's all on you. Right. Do you? Yeah. And that's, that is success. <laughs> that really is. It really is. is. You success. have to be able to just like. You yeah. have to say no more. Yes. Right. Exactly. No more. It's just like, 
Okay, so I'm at a point all my life I smoke cigarettes. I can't smoke anymore. Hmm. Nine months. So it's like you got to want to do it. And Congratulations. It. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. That's, that's but 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 that's what you have to say. You have to be determined, set in your mind to say I'm claiming my own victories. Mm -hmm. I'm claiming every step up that I go to take. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Every, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the movie, The Wiz, everybody was following the Yellow Big Road and they wanted to find The Wiz because yes, The Wiz had all of the answers, mm -hmm. but you're the wizard. Right. Yeah. You are the wizard. I posted you have the answer. I posted something today and it said, sit in silence and it, it allows for guidance. It does. Mm. Like, right. You already it know. Candles, you already the whole know thing, the meditation. way. You, already you know, know the way. Yeah. You already, you, you know, already the know the way. Intuitive. So you know it's like Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. He fell down. But all the king horses and all the king, we don't have all of that. Right. So you have to pull <laughs> yourself back up yes. and get an understanding mm -hmm. why you fell down right. and how you got back up to make sure you'll never do it again. Right. right. That's an awareness. It's an awareness, an awareness of who you are, and but it's trust. Start, and and a trust. Trusting that you got yourself. You right. know, I think that that's the thing too. Like, we as people, don't mm -hmm. trust what you'll do next time because we are so uh, focused on what happened in the past, how you showed up for yourself in the past. So going forward, you move a little yeah, trepidation, and you probably shouldn't. Right. Because that, you, because once you know better, you do do better. Yeah, that's very you true. You know, it's so, like, it's mm -hmm. knowing the difference in right and knowing the difference in wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. You know the difference in right and you know the difference in wrong. Why? It's the same energy. Why are you gonna do wrong when you can do right? True. True. It's the same energy. Right. Trying to be a juvenile delinquent. Just trying not to. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Delaying. Because I think that why, why people do wrong most times is to de de delay what they want to happen. So if they can prove to themselves that I'm not the person that I think I am, mm -hmm. then the success that should come, mm -hmm. you Won't don't come. obtain it. And now you have an excuse. So you got to be so instead yeah, you're of an A because you said, I didn't study that hard, but I could have oh, yourself into no, no, being but What they want to do is basically. they want to get a C <laughs> so they can see their way through. Right. But it's the same energies of getting an A and a B is it to get a C. Right. So why not get the A? Right. Because right. then what happens with the A is in, in, the, in the human mind, you, what then I'm gonna have to do more, right? And then can I rise to that occasion? Yeah. And then can I rise? So you to have that a fear occasion? of success, yeah. right? <laughs> Your fear of success. And a lot of us want to become accusatory and blame why we're not successful. And then you want to be jealous. Then you want to be hating. Yeah. Do hate. But if you Appreciate. find your, but if you find your own lane, yes, right, and that is the key. Finding your own lane because I was a person and I was doing like a whole bunch of things. And then once I found my lane, like, because mm -hmm. and it, I'm good at a lot of stuff, which makes it harder for you to like, yeah, pinpoint something, right? And once I found my own lane, I mean, I, I went to my girlfriend's house, she has like a house on a lake, it has an elevator, and it. it's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's no, like no, elevated. no, okay. no, 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 for real. Okay. So, like, she's really successful, her <laughs> and her husband, right? So, and normally she's always been successful, and normally I would go to the house and say, maybe I should get into finance, right? Because she's in finance. And now that I found my lane, I was like, this is nice, but I'm gonna need to be in New York because I gotta get on that stage. Right, exactly. Your lane, what is for you is for your you, lane, and that's it. But your lane that's changes your, yes, your perspective and your view yeah. worship. Yeah. Right, I, think when, I think when you have written out that plan, mm -hmm. when you have mentally planned your sense of success, mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna block it. Ain't no detours. That Ain't no nothing. Right. Nobody's gonna block the success. Right. Again, when you go back to saying I'm romantically in love with me, self preservations, so the things that keep me motivated. And look, I'm not gonna win no popularity contest. Mm -hmm. I'm a businessman first, before, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like my decisions, I understand you don't. But life goes on too. We're gonna keep it moving. Right. So you guys so, yeah, gotta get this book. book. Right. You guys gotta get this book. Tell us where we can get this book. It's at. on Amazon. The candles are through uh, Ellerby Elegance. That's uh, 
www. Yeah, okay. Elegance, and L-E-B is E-L-L-E-R-B-E-E, elegance.com. Nice. And we we have t-shirts on there, and on the t-shirts and the bags, it's all going back to HIV and AIDS. Perfect. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Yes, Very you nice. guys, you have to have been enlightened. Thank you so much. No, it's my Thank pleasure you, to the both of you all. Please keep doing what you're doing. The energies are so wonderful oh, here. Thank you. Thank you. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. And that was such an inspiring interview. Just yeah. overall, I always love when Angelo comes here. He yeah. always like just brings such good energy. He, he says, Our energy is good, his is good. He feels like collard greens and cornbread. <laughs> You know, or, or, or roti and, or roti. In, in something else. Roti. Just ro just the skins? Not the skin. Roti is the whole thing. Oh, sorry. It's all of it. The whole thing. <laughs> if you say roti skin, then it's the outside. If you say roti, it's understood that there's stuff in it. Okay, but you know how that feels. <laughs> he feels like that to me. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, I like that he brought up a lot of things that are important to the black community. I mean, he mm -hmm. talked a lot about mental health, for example. You no, know, a lot of men, they, they're walking around with, you know, wounded, walking wounded, if you will. And they're not really getting the help that they need mentally. And he said, you know what? You got to love them from a distance. And yeah, that was just like back up. That was right. Because sometimes profound. they can't have you have all your energy. Yeah. You I mean, you actually I was like, well, you need to you know, maybe you can get help and, and stuff like that. But, but some yeah. of them, some people are responsible for themselves. Right. Most. Pe no, not some. All people are responsible for themselves. And what happens is people try to like grab you in mm -hmm. and and take the energy that you're supposed to actually be focusing on yourself. That is true. <laughs> that is really, really true. I feel like, you know, that toxicity, it's, it is toxic for a reason. Yes. It can poison you. You're trying to bring them up instead of you bringing up, they're pulling you down. That's why so many so. women suffer from PTSD. <laughs> and like, it's true. It's so many women that cannot commit, can cannot like connect after mm -hmm. like really really bad relationships because they feel damaged. It's like being mm -hmm. in a war and then you're not in the war anymore, but you you know still act like you are. Basically, you, you, you have the nightmares. You're like, Shit, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, Ray Ray. <laughs> you killed Ray Ray in the last show. You said you killed him. He's dead. I feel like. When you love something, like if you're a singer, or mm -hmm. you're a writer, or you're a designer, when you love something and you can do it in any capacity, you should feel grateful that you can do that in any capacity. And I think what happens is we take the the terminology success mm -hmm. and say that you success in people's minds mean you have to make a whole bunch of money from it and you have to be on television doing it and that's not always success right. and I think that once we couple success with whatever your dreams and aspirations are it kind of taints it sometimes right success means something different for every person you have to define it for you and it's not always going to look change. like this and it can you know? keep changing it might look like this you know you yeah. never know so yeah I think that's a really good point so yeah I mean overall it was we are, we're interview. the ones that we're looking for. We're the wizard, as he says. Yes, it was a great interview. Yeah. Angelo, we love you. Thank you.